You're watching Virginia This Morning. This segment is sponsored by Virginia Urology. It's normal for testosterone levels to drop as men age, but losing too much testosterone can cause serious health problems. Dr. Tony Slowinski with Virginia Urology joins us to cover the warning signs and what can be done. Doctor, it's great to see you. It's great to be here. This is a really important conversation to have. Low testosterone impacts men of what age? Anywhere from our 40s on up, and the question is, what are the symptoms that you try to uh, ascribe to low testosterone? Mm -hmm. People overlap uh, so many other symptoms with aging that they don't realize that they have low T. And it's thought that only 10% of people who have low T have any idea that their symptoms are related. Interesting. Yeah. Typically, what are they seeing? What are, are, or maybe are there their spouses or partners or other people seeing it before they do? Right. I, I think a lot of people notice that you have less energy. You begin to take naps in the afternoon. You're, you're dull. You're a little more depressed, a little bit moody. Yeah. The sexual side effects are uh, more libido, not so much um, sexual functioning. So people think of that right away when they talk about low testosterone. Usually it's the non-sexual side effects or effects that are noticed first. Um, the sad thing is a lot of those symptoms are a little bit vague and in our website we can uh, give you the Adam questionnaire link. There are 10 questions that you can screen yourself to see if you are at risk for low T. It's interesting because you said it, all of those things can be vague. They also can be easily pushed aside. So mm -hmm. it, it's a great idea to visit and then check that out and, and learn a little bit more. Are these the signs I, I'm experiencing it? Absolutely. The sad thing is that we uh, still think of testosterone a la, you know, some of the Major League Baseball players and doping and over excess uses and inappropriate uses when we have a, a great opportunity to have an impact on our patients by giving them their testosterone when they have low levels. So once they've come in, they, this problem has been identified. Mm -hmm. What can be done? Great. We first of all identify it and then confirm it with laboratory values. And then once we confirm it with the laboratory values there, we try to look for causes that can be reversed. I'm a UVA grad, drinking to excess, and that's a hard definition by my standards, is one of the easiest causes to reverse as a cause of low testosterone. Other drugs can hurt testosterone, pesticides, herbicides, excessive heat. So first thing we do is look to reverse what's causing your low testosterone. And then when we find out that perhaps that's not enough and you're not quite going to get to normal levels and are suffering, then we replace it. Soon, hopefully, we'll have opportunities to tell your body to make more. We don't quite have those uh, interventions yet, but they're in research. But we replace it multiple ways to replace with injections, with gels, with Band-Aids. There's uh, various forms of shots and pellets that we offer at Virginia Urology uh, in our Men's Wellness Center. Is it one, it, it can't be it one size fits all. It's no. probably a delicate balance of Absolutely. finding that right mix. Absolutely. I think that to think that uh, everybody's the same is, is totally inappropriate. You have to follow levels carefully. There are impacts that are a consequence of giving back the testosterone. The body wants to grow muscles. It wants to lose uh, abdominal girth and fat. It makes your diabetes better. Uh, because your body doesn't want to uh, make fat cells, it wants to make muscle cells, but also it makes red cells, and red cells make your blood thicker. And there's been some concerns of blood clotting with testosterone. That just has to be monitored. Also, if you have prostate cancer, and also if you have male breast cancer, which is really rare, you can't use testosterone uh, products because this makes it grow faster. It doesn't cause it, but it'll make it grow faster. We're almost out of time, but if it's been identified and maybe some of those um, external circumstances have been addressed and it's resolved or the treatment has helped with resolution, how quickly do you start feeling this transformation? That, that's the fantastic thing. People who have very objectively low testosterone are feeling better in days. Wow. And, and they actually you know, give you a hug next time you see them. It's wonderful to see them happy with their treatment. and know that they're back on a, a weight-friendly, uh, diabetic-friendly future.
Fantastic. Doctor, thanks for being oh, with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's In great. Important information to share. We're going to give some contact information. Virginia yes. Urology has seven convenient locations throughout Virginia. Learn more and find the one closest to you by visiting uro.com or calling 330-9105.